Hey, what's up, everybody? It's DJ Full House again, helping you out with another uh, tasty morsel, another tip trick kind of deal. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, Moog's Filtertron app for iPhone, and also how to integrate it into using Ableton Live, which I love and adore and I use all the time. Um, but also showing you um, how to use it for your um, native instruments <laughs> or for your native synthesizers, which I have. I have a I have a Juno, uh, and that's what I'll be showing you the good stuff on. Um, but first, let's get started. So, um, go ahead and download the app, of course. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for that. Okay, you want to download the app which I've done already. Okay. Now before I click on the Filtertron fun app as it is, I need to make sure that you know that you need to be on airplane mode. If you're not on airplane mode when you're playing with this and when you're recording, you're going to get a lot of popping and buzzing and Wi-Fi business happening in the background. If you don't know how to do that already, you go into your settings and you go over here to, it says, what is that? Gnai mode. So it's basically it's um, you're inside an airplane mode. Sorry, it's Japanese. Deal with it. So make sure it's on, which it is. It should just have that. It should be the first thing up top. So once that's set, then you click here to Filtertron. And open it up, and it looks well like that. Um, a cool thing about the Filtertron, which I like a lot. Um, is that you have a couple of options. You have a line in option, you have a sampler option, and you have a, a voltage control oscillator, or you have like your own built in synth. It's a monotone synth, so it's uh, monophonic, sorry. Um, but it's, it's still pretty awesome. It has some really beefy sounds. Um, and you can actually use it as a separate synthesizer too, and I can show you that another time if you want. But for now, I'm just showing you how to get a, a live signal going in and out of the phone. So, one thing I have to say is that you're going to need some sort of interface. So I'm using, obviously it's upside down. Nothing would be better if it weren't upside down. Uh, I'm using iRig. Um, and it works pretty well. There's lots of other ones. There's like the Alesis stock and there's, I don't know, there's other ones. I've also seen other videos of people using um, a video cable like this RCA uh, video cable right here and having a certain array of these but it, it didn't work when I tried it so that's why I got the iRig so it worked for some people but not for me so before you start playing with this thing you obviously have to open up live so I have that open now on my computer I'm gonna pull it open now okay and here I am so um, as far as using the app as an external effect, well, I mean, that's pretty easy. That takes care of it in life. So you go ahead and make a track. And for this one, I have um, an audio track. Uh, actually, it's a, it's a MIDI track. And I've made an instrument down here, which is my Alpha Juno, which is my synthesizer, and have my... Um, everything is set up that I receive sound from there and I've created a external instrument an external instrument and you can do that here sorry external audio effect boy but it's right there and you just click and drag which I've already done so there's a thing you need to know about this so when you activate it you need to make sure that your audio is coming from an external or like your master out. So this can be kind of tricky. You can't really have it, you can't really have the Filtertron with an input and an output working, both inputs. I mean, it doesn't work. So you need to have some sort of master out that will be going into the, the Filtertron app. And then you need to have sound that's coming out and into your sound card. So just to give you an example, I have a, an M, M Audio Firewire 410. Um, and because it has multiple outs, 
I have a separate out that I've done back here, and you can see it. It's these blue, the blue cables, the yellow and red one, and they're on separate out channels, three and four. So I have that going, you just follow the magic blue cable, and here's the same blue cable, and it's going into the guitar, or it's going into the input, rather, of the iRig. So the output, or the headphone, what you're gonna be hearing from the effects that are happening in the Filtertron are going to be going out. So I have this cable going into the back here into um, a stereo quarter inch input right there. So if that makes sense, I have my output sending sound from Ableton, from my synthesizer going into Ableton, then it's going into the app, then it's going back around in so I can hear what it sounds like. So just to give you an example, here is me playing around with just my synthesizer on the preset I have. It's an awesome mallet sound that I love. Okay, so I have that sound and I've actually made a, um, a loop just to show you what's happening with it. So. so there's that, and it's playing. Okay, so you can see here that I have my external instrument, and it's receiving audio from my uh, my synthesizer. And now that I now I have it going, I want to receive audio from the filter tron. So I turn on this effect. So now I have my audio coming from two, because it's the only open channel that I have in this whole mix up. So now that I have it going. I can use this make sure that my line level is up then from here I can play with the effects there's the res and what's the most fun I think is playing with the pads and making sure that you have your delay on This is where the fun is for me, personally. I like playing with the pad setup. It's really fun. That's the voltage control oscillator. That's the, that's the awesome power of this thing. So here we have our delay. LFO and our envelopes working for us. So, because I have a loop playing right now, it actually, I mean, it's it's okay, but it's not really the practical use of this. It's more of like a lead instrument effect, something that's really going to be happening that's just spacey and droney. Like, for instance, I'm going to put my... Um, delay mix all the way up and turn up, oh, I can mess with the feedback in the pads. So now that I have that all the way up, I'll just play something here on the keyboard. And as that's playing, it's some really awesome sounds. So it's really fun for some spacey sounds. So the other use of this, so that's just an example using it with an onboard, or sorry, an external instrument, like an external synth like I have. So another way that you can do it is, you can use it with one of Ableton's built-in instruments. So here I have um, a rack that sounds pretty brassy that I like. <laughs> I think it sounds pretty great. So with that, I've done the same external uh, audio effect and dropped it here, the Filtertron. So I have my outcoming uh, outs from the, the app going in. And now I have the same effects.
fun is when you can record something and you just kind of noodle around as it goes. Um, so that's basically how you get it working with an iRig and get it all set up in Ableton Live. So yeah, if you have any questions or other requests of how to get stuff going, you can try to post a comment and I'll try to help you. But for the time being, that's what you get. So uh, yeah, I hope you love it. I know you will. All right. Um, yeah. Enjoy. Bye.